Welcome back everybody. Today I've got a Steel MS 291 chainsaw. What needs to be fixed on this one is that the muffler's all loose. Apparently there is a broken screw in the cylinder, one of the screws that holds the muffler on. So there's still one screw in there. Muffler's extremely loose. I'm going to take it off and go through a step-by-step -step repair here while you guys watch. So first of all, I'm going to take off these little caps. Then I'll just reach in and get the screw that's left out. So I've got one screw that came out of the muffler and there's the other one. It's broken right in there. I'll get this cover off. It'll make the repair procedure easier. And here's a better view. There's that screw. So you can see it snapped in there, probably got loose and snapped. I'm hoping it won't be a big deal to get it out, but you just never know. The good thing about this screw today is that there is some of it sticking out. So my first go-to tool to do this repair is a pair of vamp pliers. The reason they work good for this type of screw removal is because they have serrations vertically and it's been rounded in at the end so it fits perfectly on screws that are broken. So let's reach right in here. So it's actually pretty hard to grab a hold of that screw with this pair of van pliers. I do have another pair that I will get out right now. This pair of needle nose van pliers has a smaller hole at the tip. Hopefully this will work. It's hard to get a bite on there. All right, so the pliers aren't working. I do have a pair of vice grips from Van Pliers. Let's try these as a last option here. And it doesn't seem like it wants to bite. No, it's not going to work. Okay, my next option is my Dremel tool with a small cutting disc. I'm going to attempt to go right in here and cut a slot so I can use a slotted screwdriver. Okay, so I do have a small groove there. Let's see if it'll work. So the slot in the screw won't work. I just cannot get enough traction in there. I've blocked the exhaust port with some foil. What I will be doing is welding this small washer here right on the stud and then weld a nut on the washer. Hopefully the heat from welding the washer and the nut on there will loosen the screw enough for me to just turn it out. Okay, here's the washer. I'm just going to weld it on there with the MIG welder. And I'm using solid wire for this and the Argon CO2 mix. Okay, here's the washer welded on there. And now I'm adding a quarter inch nut on there with a 7 16 head. And I will throw some MIG welding right in the center. I put the other screw on there so I'd have a better ground. Okay, I hope that this works here. I think it is. Man, that's great. I should have done this right at the beginning. But I hate to weld on chainsaws like this. It's usually my last option. So basically by doing this, 
you're adding heat to the screw and you're also putting something on like a nut that you can actually use to get the screw off. It's perfect. And the reason I put the washer was to sort of protect the cylinder itself and also to give me a better base to weld the nut on. And this is still quite hot. And here it is. And the threads are good in this hole here as well. And let's try to screw in this one. And the threads seem perfect in there as well. Okay, let's put this part here back first. Now I went to get the muffler here and I noticed that the old bolt head is stuck in it. There it is. And what I do is I get the screws to come out the other end. Just like this. Then it makes it easier to just go in, line it up. And what I do in the process is I keep the Torx screwdriver number T27 ready to go like this. So I keep pressure on, on at least one screw. And then it makes it easier for me to just line up that screw to the screw hole. And I always manually tighten these up. I do not use the impact to tighten up the muffler screws. You can end up with the same problem you fixed in the first place. And these T-wrenches from steel here give you a lot of leverage. And here's the part number if you want this one. It's a T27 Torx screwdriver. I put these on fairly tight and after a bit of use, just check them again. Make sure the engine is cool though before you retighten them or recheck them. And I'll put back the little caps. They're not necessary, the caps. They just stop dirt from going in. The dirt won't get into the muffler if you don't have the caps. It'll just go in and maybe plug up the, uh, the screw hole where you put the torque screwdriver in. And now you just have to put the cover on and the job is done. And now the muffler is nice and tight. So overall, this wasn't too bad of a job. Oftentimes I managed to get the little broken screws like that off with the vamp pliers without having to resort to welding a washer and a nut. The washer and the nut works awesome guys. 99% of the time, I do not have an issue with that. And I also want to thank everybody who gave me tips on how to use my lathe in some of my previous videos. Thanks again for watching guys. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel and you can see me in my next video. Have a great day.